Today we're going to review TPO curve flashing in details. What we have is we have a TPO sheet laid down that simulates what we have on the roof for our field sheet. The first thing that we have to do when we come up to a penetration is we have to terminate the field sheet. What we're going to do is we're going to install plates and fasteners installed through the field sheet not to exceed 12 inches on center. After our membrane has been terminated, the next step we have to do is measure and cut for our flashing. To do so, what we do is we measure the box and we're going to add four inches for our vertical lap. So with our piece cut, the next thing that we have to do is apply our membrane bonding adhesive to the curb and to the flashing. And it's important to note that when we put our bonding adhesive on, we are not going to put our bonding adhesive on where we will be doing our welding on the flashing. So for this piece of flashing, we will not be putting adhesive all along the bottom as well as on the vertical weld that will be applied to the curb. Our bonding adhesive has been pre-mixed prior to the application. After our adhesive has been installed, we'll let the bonding adhesive flash prior to application of the flashing. After our adhesive is flashed off properly, we're now ready to flash our curb. What we've done is we've snapped the line on the top of our flashing, indicating where it'll be hung in relationship to the top of the curb to keep our flashing straight. Before we're ready to start welding our flashing, the first thing that we'd like to do is round the corners of our base flashing. After our flashing has been set in place and rolled into place, the next thing is clean all areas that will be welded. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to begin our welding. So we're actually going to weld down all four of our tails and our vertical seam.
The last thing that we have to do is we have to weld our corners into place. So the first thing that we need to do is take our JM TPO membrane cleaner and clean the TPO which will receive the corners. After our corners have been installed and everything's welded, the last step we need to take is to probe our welds after they have cooled properly for about 15 minutes and then to apply cut edge sealant as required to any cut edges we've made in reinforced membrane on our flashing. 